tinitignan po natin ang pasok ng datos sa araw-araw. Tinitignan po natin how stringent measures are being implemented. So, dyan po natin malalaman ngayon kung paano po natin uh, may implementation. The articles talks about the resurrection of the dead and the life everlasting. The path of our resurrection goes beyond our understanding and imagination and is accessible only to our faith. Everlasting life is having an intimate, close, personal relationship with God the Father and His Son, Jesus Christ. It calls us to repent. We need to repent in order to accept God's gift of life. Repentance is more than a change in lifestyle. It is a change of spirit. We should repent consistently, not only of extreme misdeeds. When we confess, we feel a real remorse for offending God and harming others. As we frequently repent, the Lord will help us become the men and women that He knows we can be. In order to obtain the grace of God, we must come to understand that we do not have the resources within ourselves to know such things without the aid of God. There are areas of expertise that we cannot grasp on our own, no matter how intelligent or educated we might be. If our own views on these topics prohibits us from listening to God, the only answer is to repent and change our mind. Though repentance can be difficult and painful, the rewards of a clear conscience and spiritual healing are more than worth it. Let us empower each one of us to aspire for a better version of ourselves, and we may inspire greater faith in the forgiveness and healing power of the Lord when we choose to repent.